I just got another lucky shield. That is my third lucky shield. I do not have either of the other ones. So that's kind of unfortunate, but hey, it's another item. It's a good one, it's just meh. Damn! So I was fighting a Bristle Demons, a superior Bristle Demon actually just killed me. I thought I had enough health. Um, it, I, I underestimated it, so I just ended up dying. That sucks. I'll have to end the trip early, but I did get quite a few things. Uh, you can show what's what's in the right, what's left in here. A couple, a couple stuff, master caskets. So what I'll do is I'll get ready, open on all the stuff, and if anything interesting happens, I will show you. Oh, nice! And I just realized that I got Odium Ward Two, uh, Shard Two, which gives me a full Odium. So I have both of the shields now, without ever actually killing any of those bosses, which is pretty cool. I guess I was pretty lucky to get. All, both both of them without like I don't think I have that many duplicates only like a few that I disassembled for uber components but uh, that's pretty nice luck right there hey we just got a self shard that's pretty nice that that amulet I forgot to mention in my last uh, video the video I did on the rise of the six the self amulet actually does have a damage boost against undead monsters and barrels brothers count as undead monsters I think that's a duplicate but you know whatever that's cool okay so I haven't sold most things yet but you definitely make way more than you spend in the dungeon. So <laughs> so in terms of a cash sink, it is definitely not that. But it is a fun dungeon, and most people like the update. I like the update, personally. I think it's it's not, like, overpowered, but it is definitely good. We got ourselves one t chest from all those sinister keys. We got ourselves 30 mystery boxes. And then I just got a whole bunch of random stuff we can sell. I ended up getting a dragon full helm, but I'll just... Probably keep that. I'll probably just keep that as like a keepsake. Put that in this tab. What is it we gonna get from this? Rip. <laughs> Rip. I might just dis I might just disassemble that for rare components. If I'm eventually, I'd like to get a lot, but it's just one of those things where it's an eventual goal. You might hear my dog in the background. She is not happy with uh, being locked in. No, no, no. All right, let's get some mystery box. I don't know why I only opened like half. Oh wow, we just got back to back old chest. There was a bit back where. Well, that's cool. We'll open those in a sec. Let's get the rest of these. Uh, another one? Alright. Slow down. What? What? No. But yeah, I know she sounds so sad. You the saddest doggy in the world? Are you the saddest doggy? She fights to fight the pugs. And then she gets locked in jail. And then she cries. Because she's like, why am I here? I want to go beat those pugs up. She's just too big. She's just playing, but the problem is she's like three times their size. And nothing too good from all of that, but... Not bad. I will sell everything, and I'm probably going to go back to God Wars 2. I don't want to make this another video. I know people have been have been annoyed with the with the fact that I've included so many non-God Wars 2 videos. you got to understand that God Wars 2 is pretty tough. As you saw, it took like five minutes to kill one with like, you know, DH and whatnot, so... Um, it's not an easy goal. It's going to take a little bit of effort. I'm going to have to put some effort into gears. People try to tell me that this isn't from scratch. It's just a progress series. It is a from scratch. If you remember the original, the original from scratch, the God Wars one that Rune Shark did, the first handful of episodes was them collecting gear. That's just that's just how it's going to be. And on a private server, I still need gear. I need higher tier gear to be able to do these bosses effectively. Okay, so I just created the Salve Amulet E. Uh, pretty much just took that Salve Shard and then combined my Lucky Amulet to it. So now it is essentially just a Lucky Amulet and I have a damage boost against any undead monsters. Okay, so this was actually a recent update, but we are going to make a Dragon Hunter Crossbow Upgrade Kit. So in order to do it, you need Poison, which is purchasable in Varrock for 50 mil. You need Lube, which is found in this crate right here. You need 50k uber components, and you need an item from the raid shop called Dragon Inn Tankard, which is 5,000 raid points. Uh, so we buy that. Yeah. And then, I believe, just create. Oh, I'm missing the strange... Oh, I think I have to put the... Yeah, yeah, there we go. Put the put the uber components in the uh, lube. And there you go, Dragon Hunter Crossbow now. So that's actually pretty cool. Upgrades our crossbow, and we can now kill dragons. Uh, I actually plan to go use Vorkath, because if you look at my amulet, as as you just saw in the last clip, that works on Vorkath. So, I think this is a perfect time to go kill Vorkath, see if we just can't clutch out a, uh, a cape or something, I don't know. Oh, and while we're here, we might as well gamble this harpoon we got on one of those streams. Whatever. I mean, it was a harpoon, 
It, it was it was always going to be bad. I guess I should have just taken taken Uber components or whatever. Ooh, we just got a mahogany chest six. Let us open that and see what we can't clutch out. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh man, that sucks so bad, dude. That that's really bad. That's so bad. Oh, I mean, oh, I'm quitting. I quit the server. So, I just got a jar of souls, and I didn't really think much about it. I uh, wasn't going to record it, but I actually got quite a few. Nine million. I don't recall what the max is. I think it's ten, so we just got pretty lucky there. Um, the reason I say so is because we've got ourselves enough points to buy a halo, and we can get eight mystery boxes, which is pretty nice. I did not mean to go rip. Let's get the halo first. Let's go Sarah. So now when we do Vasa Masses, we will be set. And then I'll just open these now, because why not? I don't really care about Rune Pouch. Although it would be useful. Uh. And got them set. That would have been nice a little while ago. <laughs> Alright, so we got 100k Zora Scales. We are trying to get a blowpipe. Let us remember how to even do this. I'll be happy with Serp Helm or Blowpipe. Anything else is a sad panda. I don't do I need anything else? I just gotta just come to her. This is a weird this is this is, this is weird oh there we go, yeah. Oh I don't I need a chisel <laughs> to like break it. This is dumb coding. You could tell I didn't know what I was doing when I coded this. Chisel. That sucks. That that that's gay. Just, uh, just chilling with this little snakeling right here. I don't know. What, I don't know what this guy's deal is. Can I can I bash him over the head with a hammer and get some scales back? Hey, I just got an internal ring. Wow, that is gnarly. That's cool. Off of a spear. I decided to do superiors because I wanted pug points to try to get a raid box, and that so far has worked out nice. Nice. Hey! I got I just got the first loot of the Vasa Mess. This is our second kill and it goes to freaking me. Twisted Buckley, man, I'll take it. Nice. Alright, so I just killed some meter dial, got some points. We are now at ten thousand points, and we also have enough points for a unique box. So let's go do that. Let's let's uh, spend some points. Um yeah, I definitely want to get the unique box from the Pug Point shop because uh, there's 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 not necessarily better things, but there's different things I can get. I think from raid boxes, there's really only one like there's there's obsidian is all I can really get from it, or a twisted bow. But I'm not optimistic that my, I'm gonna get one, so I'd be happy with any obsidian pieces. I I could take that because it does count as a slow weapon, so that's that's pretty useful. I like that. It's all right. All right, now let's go get our unique box. So if you ever wonder what poke points are, they're basically loyalty points. So you get them from mystery boxes, you get them from 99s, you get them from superiors. There's quite a few ways to get them. In order to access the shop, just go to the farming patch and then a little bit south, trade this dude, and there you go. So unique box. That's kind of funny. That sucks. Darn. Nice, so I just got a demon heart, which is, I believe, the Zami Cape. I have a really good setup for a Revenant Dragons. Like, I've got good luck boost. This thing works. Dragon Hunter Crossbow works. I'm gonna kill a lot more, but uh, yeah, it's really nice to get this. The only downside is people know I'm there now, so <laughs> the chances of me getting PK have gotten higher. So I'm just making some potions before a Vasa Mass, and I actually just got the freaking Tortoise Pet. So that's cool. I didn't even notice. Just got ourselves a nice, powerful raid box. That is really, really nice. I like that. That is cute. I will take that. Hey, Jared Darkness. That's cool. That was a back-to-back. -back. Nice. I like I like where the stream is going so far. 